Hey, what's going on, guys? Bullet at Chuck. Just a little update on the Monte Carlo. I hadn't done nothing to it in a while because I'm waiting on a bunch of parts. But I did find out where my floorboards are. My floor pan, actually. It's actually two halves. But uh, somehow or another, they got confused and sent them to... I'm not even sure if uh, the name is right, but Colito, Colito, something like that, uh, Ontario, at a Corvette shop, Northern Corvette or something like that, I'm not sure, wouldn't swear to it, but I think that's the name of it, but I've been doing a little body work to it, just getting ready to start touching up a little, little specks here and there, and little spots, and getting him ready, just piddling while I'm waiting on stuff and piddling with the charger and everything. But he had some little T90 spots on the roof of like needed some attention and this is where the, uh, I'm just going to flow this out. It was where the uh, lead was put back into the uh, roof panel in the quarter uh, cell panel there. But I just wanted to level it out a little bit, smooth it up a little better than the factory. had it right here on that little spot. Yeah, it's getting there. And I did uh, finally get these. Got these from my uh, buddy Mark. He balls garage. Nice set of hands. A little late, but better late than never, right? They are really nice. He uh, sandblasted them for me, cleaned them up. He was gonna chrome them for me, but I told him no, I didn't want that because my dad said he uh, didn't think he wanted them chrome. But uh, but yeah, just uh, getting ready to clean this thing up, clean it out. I gotta do some serious uh, cleaning on the shop so uh, we can get these uh floor pans and stuff put in when they get here as far as the uh trunk pan that it needed the only thing it needs is the right side portion like where the uh, uh spare tire and all mounted i guess the uh jack assembly and stuff that's really the only spot that's really needing replacing in the trunk other than that it's pretty nice huh? that surprised me but but i'll bring you back and uh We'll do some uh, work on the old Monty here. And get him going. All right, see you on a few. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Pull it in the shop. Second day. Been kind of busy, so I'm having uh, some limited time to working on this stuff. Pulling around with it a little bit today. But uh, yeah, I've got everything on this side. Moved out, flowed out pretty good. But uh, he's coming around after I uh, put some uh, primer and sealer and all that on it. Of course, we'll uh, go over it, block it, wet sand it, and everything to see all the spots. All right, yeah, it's coming around pretty good. Yeah, he's getting there. This takes time. I'm just going over nitpicking every little thing I can find, little low spots. I like somebody might have took a BB gun or something to it. So it wasn't me. But it's getting there. I'm going to uh, try to get this thing shot with some primer and then some sealer before we paint it again. But uh, after this uh, little bit of bodywork video, the next video on the Monte Carlo will be uh, installing the uh, aluminum pulleys and uh, all the water pump and the hoses and everything and hooking all that up and just letting it run for a while. and. Take it out the shop, wet sand it maybe. Yeah. All right, guys. I appreciate it. I'll be right back with y'all. What's going on, guys? Got this thing ready to shoot some uh, 
2K gray on it. But uh, I'm out of gun cleaner, so I got to run and get some uh, gun cleaner. And uh, then I'll be able to come back and shoot it. Yeah. You're getting there. You got the engine all covered up. Got the uh, wheels and stuff covered up. I'm just going to uh, shoot these uh, spots with the 2K and uh, rework them before I uh, get ready to put the last coat of sealer on. I'll wet sand it, block it out and everything to see if I missed anything. But uh, it's getting there. Alright, see y'all in just a few. All right, guys, I don't know if you can hear me. I got the little heater uh, blowing to kind of uh, knock the chill out there. But uh, it's below 70 degrees, so I'm going to be using some uh, some fast. And uh, that'll help dry it up a little quicker. I'm using the uh, Summit 2K urethane gray. I'm just putting this over the uh, body filler and the spots that I uh, fixed. So uh, once it dries out and everything, then I'll go back over it and seal it again. But uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm using a 600 cc cup. So I wanna take this thing up, this mix is four to one. So I wanna take it up to uh, right about 20 ounces. I know you can't see it and I ain't I got pain all on my fingers I don't want to try to focus it but I want about 20 ounces so I'm gonna get it at the uh, 4 to 1 ratio and what I want to do is put it right here at my 5 right here on my uh, primer and then go up to the next 5 on my activator mix it up real good and you can put uh, I think up to 10% uh, reducer in it if you want but uh, I want it as thick as I can and coat it good you know so but unless it has a problem spraying which I don't think it will because I'm using a 2.3 tip and that 2.3 tip it'll start to spray some uh, pretty heavy material and I got me some acetone because I, I couldn't find no uh, gun cleaner but this stuff works just the same 100% acetone nail polish remover I'll clean my gun right up and uh yeah all right y'all wish me luck and i'll see y'all in just a few all right guys it might be a little noisy and i'm gonna try to give you a little bit of footage on the 2k firma but uh let's see how it goes cover up the spots I worked on and the spots that I got back down to the metal. It's kind of hard to get down for you.
about the shadow and everything, but it's the way that I've got the lighting in my shop. But uh, hopefully you can get a fair view of it. Sucking it up. up all that primer 
and I'll put one more coat on it. Then I'll uh, wet sand it and block it and everything. Go back over it with a coat of seal. And then we're going to paint it white next week. I'm hoping by the weekend. Alright. See y'all soon. Hey guys, we got a second coat in this thing. Looks real good. After it dries out. Like I said, we'll sand it all down and everything. Check everything real good. And uh, get it ready for its final coat of sealant. Go from there. So get it outside and wet sand and everything. I'll make another video of it. Make a lot nicer and cleaner video. Alright guys, I'm gonna end this video. It's getting pretty long. But I wanted to update you on the old Monte Carlo. He's uh coming around. Like I said, I'd like to paint it by the weekend if I can, if everything goes well. And uh, get the uh, pulleys and the water pump and all that put on it by then too. So uh Y'all stay tuned. Old Monte Carlo is coming back. All right. Y'all please like, share, subscribe. Hit that big thumbs up. And uh, hopefully see y'all soon. Later.